So in talking about these different spaces too, and you know, what house feels right for someone in, in which house I really love and why I love it. Um, I also have the house that I'm working on with Lander at 804 Garner. <clears throat> it's really 804 and 806 Garner because 806 Garner is this big vacant lot, which is great and rare to have that adjoining a house in Zilker. Um, Zilker is cool because I grew up in Varton Hills, which is just the neighboring neighborhood right adjacent to Zilker. And it was, I always say it's my competing elementary school when I was in elementary school because I went to Barton Hills Elementary and um, they were the rival schools, right? Like up the hill in Zilker was Zilker Elementary. And my family always ate practically every meal at Kirby Lane um, at that old location on Lamar. And they always had the Zilker Elementary School kids colored menus and like artwork. And I always hated that. I would look up and be like, uh, that it wasn't Barton Hills Elementary. But Zilker has transformed in Austin in such an incredibly different way than Barton Hills. There's so many cool contemporaries and new builds and really like creative styling and architecture going on throughout that neighborhood. And 804 Garner is no exception. It's this super cool A-frame um, that really the, the seller of this house did custom. She really put a lot of thought and was very particular in the best way about the finish out and every little detail of this house. And so you walk up to the house. The landscaping is amazing. Matt Snyder did the landscaping and the pool and the greenery inside and outside the house. There's a koi pond. It's like, it's, it's super cool and very interesting and very different. And that coupled with her furnishings and what she's done makes it really a one of a kind kind of situation. It feels contemporary, but it's um, green. And I don't mean like green, like super eco, which it is, um, but I mean green and like lush, but edgy. And it feels like you could be in Thailand. And you open the door and you walk in and there's this big space and there's a full bathroom and you can use that as like entertaining or den or whatever, but you go in and you have this super, super cool kitchen and these, this gray tonal contemporary, really technologically advanced kitchen, but it's very understated. So it doesn't look super techy with buttons everywhere, right? It looks like this is your blank slate. And the kitchen really projects onto this massive, massive living space, which she has the coolest furnishings you can imagine. Um, but it's comfortable. And the, the most distinct thing about the home is how it incorporates with the outside and with that landscaping. And you have these sliding doors on either side. You open them up and there's water features on both. There's koi pond on one side and then there's the pool and those water features on the other. And you can drop a screen down and it feels like you're inside a resort, like in Thailand. Cause you hear the water and it's running and it's like you're inside, but you're outside also. And I know a lot of people say that, but you can't open a door and have that all consuming experiences in a lot of houses, right? So, there's shades that go over that protect these awnings that are automated, beep beep, that cover these outside areas so you can really live indoor outdoor. The pool is insane. She has a massive hot tub and this super cool outdoor kitchen. And like, I mean a real outdoor kitchen. Like you could cook full meals and have stuff out there. It would like pull out, two pull out refrigerators, cool concrete countertops, massive range out there, it's great. The master bedroom and bathroom are so cool. You have to go look at the pictures. It's on zilkerretreat.com because it's a Zilker retreat. But the bathroom has this massive, massive soaking tub that she flew in custom and this closet with a wine fridge and washer and dryer in the closet. One of two washer and dryer setups in the house. There's one upstairs too. And the upstairs of the home is big and open with this big A-frame porch, which is probably my favorite space in the house that has this gas fire pit that you could just imagine in Texas really living on at any time of the year. Turn the fire pit off in the summer, turn it on like whenever you can, whenever it drops below 90, I don't know. Um, 
with an ice maker and a sink and wet bar right off of it. So it's really meant for you or your friends or whatever to hang out all the time. It's a house that is just a stone's throw away from Barton Springs Road, which is really where I grew up with amazing restaurants and spaces and you could walk to Barton Springs. You could walk to downtown, just walk over the pedestrian bridge at Lamar and be right at Whole Foods, right in the urban core. So check that out. It's a, it's a special way of living. You know, it's, it's, it's really its own identity. And, um, Lander and I also did a tour of the uh, house too. So you can kind of go check out, it's on the YouTube channel. Um, but definitely see it, see what you think.